Alright guys, what's going on everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be reacting to uh, the same. Uh, it's called like how hot dogs are made or something like that. And uh, I kind of want to watch this. I'm probably not going to get grossed out. I don't hope at least. but Because <laughs> I don't get grossed out over that much stuff. But yeah, let's hop right into this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. It's going to be really awesome. And yeah guys, let's get into it. Hot dogs are an all-American fare. But most likely, right. it was German sausage makers who first came up with the idea. In fact, there are reports of German immigrants selling them from push carts in New York's Bowery as far back as the 1860s. A century and a half later, hot dogs are still the number one treat on the street. Traditional hot dogs. Not bad so far. Pork, beef. And yeah, chicken. everybody knows it's made out of pork, so... The cuts they start with are called trinkets. Pieces of meat left over from cutting steaks or pork chops. That's not too bad. Kinda looks like turkey or something like that. The trimmings are ground the same way butchers chop up hamburger meat. By pushing the cuts through grated metal plates. So I ain't grossed out that much. Okay, that's kinda weird, but... Not grossed out. Processed chicken ah, trimmings are added to the ground meat. That's what's probably going to get most people, starch, but salt, I mean, it doesn't really bother me. And other flavorings. These what flavorings is that, flour? vary depending on where the hot dogs are to be sold, because people in different regions have different tastes. What the? Uh, what is that? Water is sprayed into the mix, and everything is blended together in a big vat. Oh my god, that's so weird looking. That's weird looking. Corn syrup adds a dash of sweetness. Alright, that really is kind of weird looking, I'm not gonna lie. The addition of even more water helps to disperse the ingredients and make the hot dogs juicier. Another machine then purees the meat batter and oh, the the vacuums out any air. Long rolls of cellulose tubing are loaded into the stuffing machine. It pumps the meat puree into these casings, twisting it every five and a quarter inches, the length of one hot dog. It takes just 35 seconds to make a chain of hot dogs that would span a soccer field twice. Whoa, that's soccer too? Soccer fields dude? That's crazy. Then, Three of those hot dog chains are linked together to make an even longer string, and they're loaded several at a time into another machine which drapes the hot dogs onto moving racks. The process is carefully timed so that a twist always lands on the bar. The racks shunt the hot dogs through That's a where they smoke uh, shower, smoke then it or whatever, with several yeah. cooking zones. The liquid smoke seeps through the casing and adds flavor to the dogs as they bake. Hot out of the oven, these franks are drenched in cold, salty water to chill them in preparation for packaging. Looking. The hot dogs then file down to an unloading zone. Here, a machine pulls them off the bars onto a conveyor. Then, the hot dogs slide off the conveyor into metal containers. If you've been wondering about those black stripes on the casings, all is about to be revealed. The stripe is a marker attached to the casing. The absence of a black stripe means the hot dog is cooked and ready for packaging. Oh, so that black Inside stripe. Inside the peeler That's machine, I mean. a tiny knife slits each casing along the top. Then, Steamy air blows the case. Alright, I was like, I want to end dogs. right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction video. I know it's not nothing too crazy. But yeah, guys, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. And yeah, guys, if you guys would like to see some more reactions, just like give me some like suggestions down in the comments what you guys want to see me react to. And yeah, I'll react to that. Other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy. And yeah, guys, other than that, it's been uh, Predator here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.